how to rig your weather balloon. Hey, JP here. I'm about to put together the rigging for our Way 132 weather balloon flight. And I thought I'd show you how we do it. Rigging is just the string that attaches your payload to the balloon. This is what it looks like in action. It's pretty simple, but you need to get it right. We use a woven nylon line. The first thing to do is figure out how long to make that line. You know, there's a lot that goes in to that answer. We've run balloons 30 feet away from the vehicle and six inches away. Longer line is more stable and gets the sensors away from the balloon, but the longer the line is, the harder it is to launch in wind. I like to sketch it out before I start. Our standard is 15 feet of main line for a 3,000 gram balloon. That works for us for most flights. I'm going to measure out 16 feet to give me some room for the knots. Now just a bit of terminology. The string is your raw material. The part you make out of it is your line. If everyone on your team is on the same page with the words, it really does help. Now that I have my line, I'm going to melt the ends just a touch so they don't fray. Now I'll put a loop on each end. This is an overhand loop. Years ago, I picked one knot, learned it, and taught it to the whole team. We use that one knot for everything. Parachute attachment, rigging, even tying stakes down. Trust me, the one knot plan will simplify your life. I like to put two on each loop. We are going to mount a pair of quick ties on one end. As for why, it'll be easier to show you when it all comes together. You want to use at least 11 inch quick ties and always use the natural colored quick ties, never used the dyed ones. The dyed ones tend to get brittle up there in the cold at the edge of space. First, you want to wrap a little bit of electrical tape around the ends of each one. One slightly offset of the other. Holding them slightly offset of each other Go ahead and tape them together like this. Then take your loop, put it around the quick ties, and pull all the line through. We're going to pull the knots through. knot over there. Like so. The electrical tape prevents the quick tie from abrading the nylon. And you want to get a couple more pieces of electrical tape and secure that loop into position. You don't want to get too carried away with this. You don't need a, a big lump of tape, just a couple pieces to keep it from moving around. Now on to the short line. This is a small line that has a swivel on one end and a D-ring on the other, and it's what will connect to your vehicle. I like to make it as a separate piece. You can often reuse this section, and that also lets you swap out the other longer section for longer ones or shorter line depending on your wind conditions. Start with a 15 inch length of string. Be sure to melt the ends. 
Then go ahead and tie an overhand loop into each end. Once you have your loops in, we're going to take a hundred pound load fishing swivel and loop it through one end. On the other end, we're going to loop through a small D-ring. Now, we're going to attach the swivel to the loop on the other end of the main line. Just pull the loop through and pull all the rest of the main line through, all 15 feet of it. Including those quick ties at the end. Your rigging is complete, but you're not done. You don't want to deal with this mess on launch day. Get yourself a piece of cardboard, wrap your rigging around it, and hold it in place with a rubber band. Then, drop the whole thing in a Ziploc bag and write the mission name on it and you are set to go. Launch mornings can be crazy and this is one thing that can help make it smooth. Now for what's up with those quick ties. This is a nozzle insert and it is the secret to our success. It's a tube with a wrap of tape around it that goes inside the balloon nozzle. We make ours out of carbon fiber, but you can use fiberglass around cardboard um, or even a piece of PVC. You take the tube and you slide it up inside the balloon nozzle. Now this is an old balloon nozzle with of course the balloon broken off, but here you can see the tube up inside there. Then you take your quick ties at the end of your line and you wrap them around just above where the tape notch is. So it would be like that. So you bring them around slide your quick ties in Pull them tight, and you're attached to your balloon. This is how it looks inside the balloon nozzle. You then clip the quick ties and then just wrap a bit of tape around them to protect the sharps and you're ready to fly. You can do this the day before the flight. And then your rigging is all attached you, before you even fill the balloon. And then when you're done with the fill, just another quick tie closes it off. And then it's very easy to reopen if you need to add a little more gas or make any changes. We have used this method for hundreds of high altitude balloon flights. And it works every single time. As a bonus tip, always make two sets of rigging. If you tangle one of them up on flight morning or somebody steps on it and gets it in the mud, you'll have a second one all ready to go. It will make you look like a NASA failure is no option mission control director. Well, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching and we'll see you at the edge of space. Go, go, go!